Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you my new favorite iOS keyboard called Gboard by Google. So, Gboard is available in the App Store for free right now and it's made by Google. So in this keyboard, you can use Google search and it is incorporated right into the keyboard. And then you can also pull up GIFs and then use those in your messages, chat, Snapchat, any other type of um, messaging application. You can also send restaurant results right from the keyboard itself, which I'll demonstrate later. You can also type faster using a swipe like typing gesture where you can just move your finger across the keyboard and then it'll automatically spell out words. And then lastly, you can also, you still have full access to the um, emoji keyboard that comes um, standard with the iPhone. And now you can actually search for the appropriate emoji that you would like. So in the app itself, you have different uh, various keyboard settings from the glide typing, emoji suggestions, auto correction, capitalization, you know, caps lock, stuff like that. And then under search settings, you can also have predictive search and you can also turn on a location services to improve your results. So here we are in the keyboard itself. Um, so here I'll show you many of the various functionalities of this keyboard that sets it apart from the uh, standard iOS keyboard. So at first you can use it like any standard keyboard, you know, just type on there any way you like, like this, you know, just type whatever you want. Like for example, hello, right there. And then um, another thing that stand, that makes it stand apart is the uh, swipe type of functionality. They call it glide typing. So this is common from like the swipe keyboard or anything like that. If you're from Android, you're kind of familiar with this. So in this case, we'll just type in hello. Here, let's go back here. Hello, my name is Tim. Get that right. And then that's a joke. Let's just say Tim who question mark and just like that you can say like Tim cook like that so um, you can also have access to the full emoji keyboard right here as you can see all the emojis are there in the various categories but you can also search for emojis as well so just click on the search emoji bar and you can type whatever you'd like so for example let's say we're looking for the laughing laughing emoji let's get that for example that's a crying like the laughing and crying emoji add that another emoji let's just say we're looking for the money emoji instead of having to swipe through all the menus trying to find it all you gotta do is just type it in and then there it is for you automatically on there you just have to incorporate into your chat snapchat you know it could be on twitter dms any type of what, like messaging app typing app, notepad, you know, it works the same way, it has the same functionality. Um, like I said, you can also have GIFs in this. So on the bottom here, you have the various categories that you can choose from. And then you have all your recently used GIFs just in case you want to, you know, use it again. So you have high five, clapping, thumbs up, thank you, nervous, hungry, a lot of different categories like that. So in this case, we'll just go with hungry. And you know, you can search through the uh, various GIFs right there. So for example, we'll go with this Winnie the Pooh. And if you click on the GIF, it's copied. All you gotta do is just paste it in, send it, and the next thing you know, it's in your group chat. Just like that. So, um, you know, this is really cool. You can also search for GIFs as well. But the main functionality of this is the Google search that's incorporated straight into the keyboard. So for example, we said we're hungry or we showed an emoji of us being hungry. So let's say you're with your friend and you're trying to come out with a restaurant. Um, let's just say for example, in this case, we'll go with In-N-Out since it's a restaurant that's probably open right now since it's like 12.45 in the morning. So we just click In-N-Out. So in this case, it give you gifts of In-N-Out, but um, you can just click on the Google search tab, click search right there. Here, let me actually fix that up. Click on the Google search tab. And for example, I looked up In-N-Out near me click that and then here you are you have the internet out that's nearby you any other ones that are coming soon so if you click on this it will actually pull up the link to the restaurant itself its location stuff like that and you can send this to your friend you know and then there you go you get all the restaurant information just like that so with google search you can also search for anything from images as well so we'll just say uh... let's just look for pictures of a dog in this case click on dog and then this has all the the 
like the Google cards about dogs, you can just click here for any images of them. So in this case, we'll pick this. It's copied and pasted. All you gotta do is paste it into the chat, and then there you're done. So this is a lot easier than having to go, having to Google it on Safari or Chrome, and then having to save the picture, and then um, having to uh, you know attach it to your group chat or anything like that later. So this is a lot more seamless, a lot more intuitive compared to the standard iOS keyboard. It has a lot of features that have been um, implemented from different keyboards all into one. So this is Gboard, made by Google. It's free in the App Store. Go ahead and try it. And um, yeah, have a good day. Peace out.